Estados from Mexico to Venezuela. Right? transformed my life. 
And it's not just about changing my life, of course, but also changing the lives of other people. And I just want Aaron to share a little bit about himself and how he got involved in this business and how it's changed his life a little bit. <laughs> Well, the last story, I mean, not so much, you know, not, not, not so much different than Michael. I grew up in very, very modest means. I know people that look at us now, they must, you know, must think that we came from a rich background, rich parents, and stuff like that. And it was definitely not that way. We came from very, very modest means. I grew up in a small town in Milpitas, California. And the average income there was middle class and above. And our family, however, was not. We lived in a two-bedroom apartment, mom, dad, one room, brother, sister, and me in the other. I was the youngest, my sister was the oldest. So very early on, I understood one thing. There was no such thing as equal rights. <laughs> my sister got everything. And for my, me and my brother, we shared a little bump bed and everything I owned, I, I had on my bed. You know, so my parents, I guess one of the, the only memories of my parents is uh, of them not being there. Yeah, they, worked, uh, they worked a lot. And we grew up very, very independently. Because they worked so much. Because of that, we never asked for anything. So I did well in school because I had to. My parents were very unique with their discipline aspect. They didn't use the belt like everybody else. They used the bamboo. <laughs> so you had to do well. Uh, it, sometimes it's really, really hard because one of the philosophies that my parents were able to give me was you had to give it everything that you got and, and, and put everything into it. So that's why I did well in school. But because I didn't have a direction, it really kind of didn't matter, right? I don't know if anyone here has ever kind of felt lost before. And it didn't matter how hard you work. The harder you work, all you're doing is just kind of going in circles. And because of that, I started working when I was very, very young. Uh, at 15 and a half, I started working. I uh, did fast food. I didn't want to just pick any fast food. I wanted the best fast food company, Burger King, right? The king of fast food, right? <laughs> and then from there, you, know, you, don't, you don't get too many girls being a fry cook, so I upgraded. <laughs> started working in retail, started working in everything. So my, 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 my history, my job history is, is, is probably as thick as the PDR. <laughs> and I've, I've had well over 30 different jobs in my lifetime, I've tried it all. I've tried everything. Maybe not the, the carpenter thing, but close to that. And I, I guess I pulled a, a Chris Gardner. I worked hard, I worked hard, but it was always on someone else's dreams rather than my own dreams. And it kind of didn't pay off until, of course, you know, one day when I, I finally uh, met Michael, which was, uh, which was very, very unique. How many people here were invited to a presentation. And, and I saw this business. And I hope you guys can thank your friend for inviting you because they saw more in you to, to invite you to something like that. Yeah. As for myself, nobody saw more in me. Nobody invited me. Met a complete stranger. Fast off from the single gentleman right here. <laughs> And when he first brought, you know, brought me to the presentation, uh, I was always a positive person. I, I'm sure you guys can tell. I'm always walking around positive. Like that. Yes, I'm positive. But, but when I met Michael, this guy was off the chart, right? He was like, whoa, right? All this other crazy stuff. And because of that, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Because I'm so positive, it pushes you the negative way. All right? Why are you so happy? <laughs> Don't touch me. It's all his little thing, you know? But, and I started analyzing everything. All around all the people, why it's so positive and all this stuff. And what changed it for me was at the very end, and I think, think, thank God for this, is that I stopped analyzing everything around me, and I started analyzing myself and where I was going. And that was nowhere. And then, because that, we got started, we got started a business, and we started building a business, and we've had success here and there, but never a really massive success, because we were always kind of working on our own success. So from that point on, we started, I started to kind of figure out that it was easier to help someone else build their success rather than to build our own success. And that's when our journey began, changing lives and building dreams. That's right. Right? Definitely. And it's not just building people's financial success. I mean, of course, USANA has the greatest products in the world. And it's, of course, building it through the health aspect. And for me, it's, this business has changed my life, definitely, physically, of course, health-wise. 
my family's health. And I just think to myself, like, at 29 years old, like, I'll never know what it's like. I'm going to miss this part of my life. I'm never going to know what it's like to work for 40 years and receive a Social Security check. Like, I'll never know what that's like. I'm never going to have to work for somebody else. I'll always be my own boss. I'll always have unlimited dreams. And it's not just living the dream, it's working at that dream all the time. So I just want to share with you guys a little bit right now on some of the, maybe, the, some of the health transformations that we've experienced, okay? And I know that's, how many guys have a negative brother or sister? Anybody here? Like a family member who's just one of those that, <laughs> you know, you're like, I'm, I'm doing well, how much? Um, I a thousand a week, how long? It's like, what? What's, what's going on? You're like, my older brother, okay? I love my older brother to death. But he is one of the most negative people I have ever met in my life. And he's one of the reasons why I've been fo so focused in this business. And I'm, he's never gotten involved in Nissan. I've never become a distributor in this company. But one thing I can say, though, is that the business might not be for everybody, but the products that Dr. Wentz created should be for everybody. That's right. That's right. And I never gave up on him. I never gave up on my older brother. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a little before and after picture. Okay, and it's, there's, some, there's some before and after pictures for some, some other uh, associates that we have that have transformed. But I'm going to show you this picture of my older brother. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's my older brother on the left. That's right, the same person. Okay? We took him from eating a piece of bread and a Tecate beer. I'm going to drink a Nutri-Mill and eating Usana bars. Is that an amazing ride? It took me five years to convince him to do the reset. Five years. So for people who say, oh, I've been talking to him for five years, that's all I say. To get them to do the reset. All you gotta say is persistence without resistance, right? That's true, definitely true. And Aaron tells us a lot of cool stories about other associates. I'm gonna share with them. He's just telling me the story about this gentleman. Some of you guys might know him. But you have to start taking your life very serious at one point or another. And I'm just glad that Uncle Wes did. And I really hope that he lives a long, healthy life because of the song. Okay? Some of you guys might know this guy. This is crazy, right? I'll tell you this. Your health is the most valuable thing that you own. For sure. You have a million dollars, but it's not going to help you on your deathbed on that day. So I'm very happy that for a lot of the youngsters out there, and just for everybody in general, that you start becoming more conscious of your health at a very young age, or at just at any point, start being conscious of your health. But Mr. Din, if you guys know, he has a lot of associates. You guys see these, these kids screaming all the time, right? You hear these guys? And the thing with that is that you can not only just see the transformation in people's health, but you can also see their transformation when they go through a business transformation, which is kind of weird, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and click next, and we're just gonna talk about some of these people really quick. For myself, it's exciting to not only see the, the, the transformation from, from, where, from how they got started in the business to where they are now, and it's exciting to just kind of see where they're gonna be. Keep going, Mike. Because there's a lot of these people, and I know that, I know that a lot of times, when they see someone young, they kind of underestimate it. Underestimate the younger generation, the XY generation. And that's, the, that's some of the best things because when you're underestimated, you really don't have an opponent. Good stuff. Look at I'm that. Gonna, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Stop right there. Stop right there. I want to talk about this, okay? Because I know a lot of us come and some of the diamond directors here, I admire a lot of the diamonds. If you guys get to meet some of them, they're still willing to learn and expand. And I think that all of us need to take that posture. I feel like you're always going to be able to get better. I want to talk about Nancy on really quick, okay? This is all I want to make a... I'll talk about really quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to talk about Nancy on. When Aaron did, had sponsored... They brought Nancy on to this business and started working with her. It was a crazy thing because I remember Aaron was like, this is a girl, she's going to do this. And I'm like, are you sure, man? I mean, she seems like a nice girl, you know, but she's too shy. I don't know. I mean, he goes, no, she, she has what it takes. She's loyal. She's appreciative. She's coachable. She doesn't have that ego. She's going to be the one. Like, are you sure about this? I don't know, man. I mean, is she bringing a lot of people or what? And I'll be honest with you guys, and I want to apologize to Nancy Ann. I doubted that she would, I knew she was going to be successful.
but not at that level. But she is one of the, the studs of USANA Health Sciences. So let's give her a round of applause. Of course, lives have been changed and people are making these transformations. We want to see more of these stories. We love hearing these stories. But I kind of want to talk about Mr. Dent's story a little bit too because he's very humble and you know, he doesn't want to share. He's made some big transformations. How many guys want to see where Mr. Dent used to live? You guys want to see that? I'll tell you, I got it. People don't know this. I got some photos and I, I told you. What did you do, man? What did you do? I got some pictures. Let's see these pictures. Hopefully they queued them up here. This is where Mr. did when I first met him, he was living in this apartment, okay? Very tiny apartment, I remember out in Milpitas, and he drove this Acura, I don't have a picture of this car, okay? He drove this Acura Integra, a 1992 or 93, I don't know exactly, not sure which kind, but as he drove, so much smoke was coming out of the back, I remember thinking like, is, did that pass a smog check or what? Like, so much smoke. Smoke coming out of the back. It was a Rolls Canardi edition. None of you guys know which kind. It rolls down one hill, can hardly make it up the next. You guys know what I'm talking But that's where you used to live. You guys want to see where he lives now? Yeah. Check that out. This house is crazy because when we first got started in Usana working at it, he took me up to the top of the hill and he goes, Do you think Usana can get me that? And I've, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. No, I was like, of course. I was like, of course. We got it. And then I saw him walking away. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we got this. Come on. And I remember he goes, okay. He goes, I just want to let you know. It's his first day he signed up to Usana. Very first day. He goes, I just want to let you know that I already quit my job. And I was like, whoa. I was like, Jim Rohn said part time. Part time. He goes, it's too late. I already sent him my letter of resignation. You gotta get uncomfortable. The word comfortable is the most deadliest thing you can have. I always try to keep staying in the gray area. I'll tell you this, when somebody puts that kind of pressure on you, I felt the need to perform and to make it happen. And I know that this is a nice, a nice picture, but I know he likes the view of his own. That's the thing about it. You got that? That's the view from his home. And he actually moved into that home that we looked at when we went up on that hill. And I feel very blessed and privileged to be a part of that. You know what I, mean? I, I think, uh, of course, you know, once again, seeing all this is amazing, but you guys have to also understand that this was all, all created only through the, the, the fortune of, of course, you know, thank you to Dr. Myron Wentz and Dave Wentz and, and everyone else, all the million dollars left. Thank you to all the other team and all of Kusana, because without all of this, we wouldn't have all of that. And so, yeah, so I think in, in, in closing, I want to just kind of make a pledge that, uh, that uh, we are Kusana for life. That's right. Woo!